what's going on everybody? I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com, Certified Strength Coach, and I'm sharing some information on isometric body weight training. As you know, there's a couple different types of con muscle contractions that can occur. You have your concentric contraction, which is just like, think of a bicep curl. You're contracting the bicep, shortening the muscle length. Um, so that's your, your concentric contraction. Now, an eccentric contraction is just the opposite. Your muscle is tensing while the muscle is lengthening. So think of it just like the reverse portion of a, a bicep curl. The lengthening of the muscle is the eccentric portion. Now there's a third type of contraction you might not be from, too familiar with, and that's why I'm, we made this video here. It's an isometric contraction. This is holding a particular tension or resistance at one fixed spot. So let me draw it out for you. This is what an isometric contraction will look like. Still talking about the bicep. Here's your bicep here. Okay, you got your hand. This is holding, you know, your dumbbell. So as you know, here's your, your bicep, okay? Comes through right there. All right, so when you do an, a concentric contraction, the muscle, the weight is moving this way. Now when you do an eccentric contraction, the muscle or the weight is doing, is elongating, the weight is bringing down. So now what an isometric contraction is, and we'll talk about submax versus max contraction in a second. It doesn't move. That weight stays right where it, it right where it is. Okay, so that's the whole difference between muscle contraction with an isometric type of training versus a concentric or eccentric. So let's talk about submax versus max training. Okay, so we have Again, let's, let's create our arm. Here's our hand. Got our, our uh, so now your dumbbell, okay? It's one, there's two. Now this, uh, this is a chain. It's attached to a box. This is your max. Here's your sub max. If you're holding this right there, that is a submax effort because this weight, you're able to maintain control of it. So this is considered a submax is isometric training. Now on this side is your max effort, okay? This is a box with a bunch of weight in it. You cannot pick it up. Hopefully you can see the difference there. This is your max, this is your submax. No matter how hard you lift, this box will not be picked up off the ground or off the table. Now, if the weight was manageable and you were able to pick it up, then it would become a submax effort. So there is a little bit of a, a difference between the two. Now, th the reason why I, I make that clear is that there are different types of training protocols when dealing with submax versus max. A lot of research shows that max effort taxes the central nervous system or your CNS a lot more than your submax effort. So be careful when you're using these two types of training or uh, protocols within your training. If you're using submax effort, this is gonna be things like a, a wall sit, a plank, um, a, a doorway press, you know, things that where you're able to push against something or you, you feel your muscles engaging, but you're not, you're able to control it to a certain extent. When you're going through the isometric training, you wanna make sure you're holding it for anywhere 30 to 60 seconds. Like again, like a plank or a Superman. All these exercises are considered submax isometric effort. Now let's talk about max again for a second over here. So if you're using max training, again, this is gonna recruit all of your muscle, uh, the motor units within your muscle. This is gonna be considered high intense training. You need to do much less time and much less sets and more uh, longer rest periods. The training frequency is gonna be much less here than here. Again, it all boils down to what's going on in the cellular level. Your central nervous system will say, hey, this is since this is a max effort, I need to recover longer. So what this looks like on paper is that you wanna do max effort. Again, max effort's 100% of your strength. You can't lift this box, so you're gonna try to lift this holding it for anywhere from five to 10 seconds max effort. You're gonna build up to five sets total. 
Now on a, on a weekly basis, you wanna work up to tops four times a week doing five, up to five sets of five to 10 second holds. Hopefully that makes sense. Where this, on the other hand, almost the sky's the limit on this one, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute 30. You can do this much more frequent because the training frequency and volume is much less. Hopefully that makes sense. So isometric training, it's very beneficial. I encourage it, I recommend it um, to, for you to use it in your training. If you're just starting out to, for exercise, that's a great way to initiate muscle motor unit recruitment, but also to gain some awareness of what's going on within that particular exercise. So hopefully you learned a thing or two on isometric body weight training. There's still gonna be something else you're gonna find just as helpful. It's a report that we wrote, it's called the 10 best body weight exercises of all times. It's, uh, it's free, it's for you, and one of two ways to get it is to go to the corner right where I'm pointing, click the arrow, that's gonna drop open up our video description area. There's a link at the top that says criticalbench.com slash bodyweight. Click the link, give us your email, the report will be coming to you right away. An easier option is simply click this box right here. Click it, give us your email and the report, it will come to you right away. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking over here. And check out this other video that I know you'll find helpful. Other than that, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever you want to tell us, post it now below in the comments section. Other than that, I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching.